Hi guys, Michael Johnson here. Today we're gonna tie this pattern. This is the Craig's Night Time. It's a New Zealand streamer fly pattern or a wet fly pattern uh, designed for catching large New Zealand trout. Um, it works equally well for salmon, steelhead and most other species. Um, it's kind of a funny construction since the, the feathers are tied flat on top of the body. More of that when it comes to the tying. Hang on. Years ago, on a dark night, this large, darkest blue fly got me into a bunch of large brown trout in a secret river somewhere in Norway. The best of these fish was a beautiful golden five-pounder. Needless to say, Craig's Nighttime has been a favorite ever since. Yep, first I attach the tying thread. I use a salmon hook for this fly. Can be tied on an ordinary wet fly hook as well. Or a streamer hook for that matter. I make a base of thread on the hook shank and prepare the wool for, for tying in. Tie down the wool right at the point where the two wires of this loop wire hook meet each other. Or where the wire ends. That's done to get an even underlay to make the body a bun. Then I take the tinsel, I use flat mylar tinsel. We're gonna have the silver side out when winding tinsel. Then I prepare the chenille, tie it in. Cover up the loose ends here. Then I wind the chenille. Close touching turns. Remember to make enough space to tie in the hackle and wing and finish off the head. I want the rip. Cut off. Then I choose a feather for for the hackle here.
and prepare the feather. That part isn't easy to see in that black background. I use this technique where I make a fishbone shaped part of the haggle and uh, pull it in until the lengths are just perfect for this hook. Then we come to the wing, prepare these feathers using the tip of the feather. Originally, the blue feathers in the back of the fly were taken from the Pukiko bird, a colorful New Zealand bird that looks a lot like a coot or a moorhen. But I make uh, my own substitute by dyeing body feathers from heron or for, from pheasants. Those are actually the same feathers as you could use for, for spay haggles. I tie in three feathers on top of each other. This pattern calls for a jungle cock feather on top. I don't think the fish are going to see this much, but it makes it a lot easier for you to spot the fly when you fish it and see any fish that comes up following or even see a fish before it takes. And I think it looks nice. On this particular fly, I used the Pro Sports Fisher jungle cock substitute. A little bit of UV resin. Ordinary fly tying lacquer would do just as good or better, but needs a lot of coats to get the same result. You can see a lot more info about this fly and how I make the feathers uh, on my blog. I'll put a link to that in the text below. Okay guys, Craig's night time. Tie a bunch of these. Trout love them. Thanks for watching.